this is Candy with eyes to jesus.blogspot.com and welcome to my first plan with me video. I'm currently not planning on making very many plan with me videos, but it has been highly requested and has been actually for quite a while. Uh, so I thought I would film one today. Now, it is the evening, it is Sunday evening. Normally I do my planning at nighttime, uh, just shortly before I go to sleep in my jammies, laying in my bed, writing, laying down. But uh, that would be a little bit hard to film. So I'm going to do my planning for tomorrow, which is Monday, a bit earlier than usual. So I'm going to do it this evening, and I'm going to do it here at the kitchen table at which I am seated, and then that way you can see my planning process. It, it's rather simple uh, after you see how it goes. So let's get this plan with me started. And here I am at my kitchen table. And this is a beautiful planner that I am currently in. So let's go ahead and get this started. The first thing I do is I turn to my today bookmark. And then normally I would already have everything done on my list because it would be the end of the day. Will this be an evening? I still have a few things I have left to do today. So I still have two things on my list that I haven't finished today, but that uh, won't take much time, so I think I will be able to finish today. So I'm not going to forward these to tomorrow, because I think I will get them done tonight. If I don't, then before bed, I'll forward uh, them over. Uh, meanwhile, everything else has been checked off, except for one thing that I realized I just don't have time to do today. So I put an arrow there telling me I need to forward that to tomorrow. So this is a basic easy system. I check things off that are done or if they need to be forwarded, I just put an arrow. If it's something that's in process and it's gonna take more than one day to complete like a project, then uh, I might put a dot there. And when I mark things either as in process, done, canceled would be an X or forwarded, I also draw a line through it as well. Uh, this helps my eyes uh, be able to fall right on what hasn't been done versus what has been done. And you'll see I also space between a lot of things too. Uh, that also, that's to help me be able to look in my planner quickly and see what needs to be done. All right, so after I look over this, I take off my today bookmarker and my laminated sheet. I'm gonna flip to the next day, pop these back on. Oh, that one didn't wanna go, there we go. All right, so I am planning for Monday. So I had, we know I had one item that was gonna be forwarded. That's usually what I will put down first is anything I'm forwarding from the previous day. All right, so let's put that in. Okay, and that was, uh, I wanted to uh, see if I can get some time to work on my blog. Uh, also, uh, one of the to-dos, that I'm currently doing right now is film Monday plan with me video. I'm in the process of doing that right now. So then for tomorrow, Monday, if possible, that's when I'd like to upload it. So let's put that down too. So upload plan with me video. You notice how I skipped a line? When I'm starting to put things down, I usually skip a line and do every other line. Um, but if it's things that are related or in a group, like I had here today, then I'll put them all together. But I tend to skip a line, every other line. Again, it's easier for my eyes to fall on it. And if I run out of lines, then I'll start filling in the in-between lines, in which case I might use a different colored pen. Okay, uh, what else needs to be done? Uh, let's see here. Um, I want to work on the garage, and the specific task I'd like to do tomorrow is organize the boxes in the garage. So let's put that down. Organize boxes in garage. Okay, so we got that. We got that I want to upload my plan with me video. Um, I wanted to uh, do a tweak on uh, my children's shower schedules. Uh, maybe actually put together a schedule of who goes first, second, and third based on how fast or how long their showers are. I think that might make uh, their daily showering more efficient. So let's put that in. So I'm just gonna say tweak kids shower schedules. All right, 
And let's see, we already have that work on blog. Um, I am waiting for some things to clear in the bank, so I'm going to need to go over our budget and over the bank. So I'm just going to put down budget. Alright, so my first step is that I look at the previous day and I write everything, anything that's forwarded over. I had one thing to forward over. Then I write down any other things that I can think of that it's like, well, these are some other things I would like to get done here. And sometimes uh, I already have something written uh, on a future date, like I have a few things written on this day here already. So my next step is now to go to my monthly calendar, which uh, it's got a few personal things there. Uh, I would then mark off the day, so X out today, and I would look at uh, tomorrow. And tomorrow says drag trash, and that's the only thing I have written on my month on two pages for tomorrow. So I'm going to flip over here and I'm going to put that down. Uh, and that's because uh, trash day happens very early, like around 6 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday morning. And I'd rather drag out our trash on Monday evening uh, than have to do so very early Tuesday morning when it's not even going to be light outside yet. So I'm going to put down drag trash. And I consider that to be a timed thing. You can even consider it an appointment that I'm going to make with myself to make sure that either I do so or delegate it to one of the kids. So what I do is when it's a timed thing or an appointment, either one that I make myself or one that I have, I put a triangle over here. Now, if it's something that I know for sure I'm delegating to someone else or if I'm writing something where I need to remind someone else to do something, then I would put a diamond over here. Um, and those are just little things that also help my eye track where I am. All right, and then uh, this is all that uh, I really need to put down on my to-dos on Monday. I don't need to uh, put down, you know, specific homeschool planning or anything like that because all of my routines and day-to-day -day stuff is here on my uh, laminated sheet, which is double-sided. So I just go through these routines, and this is extra stuff that I need to get done that aren't in my every single day routines. And uh, so when I have some time, uh, usually during the afternoon or evening, when I can sit down and do something, do some to-dos, or if school uh, went by faster than anticipated and I have a 10-minute time period, then I also will do some to-dos. So I just try to fit them in throughout the day. Uh, however, uh, I need to prioritize them because I may or may not get to all of these things tomorrow because Mondays are pretty busy. Uh, so now I'm going to do an ABC priority system, A being, of course, highest priority. Um, the plan with me video I'm going to put as an A because I would like to definitely get this up tomorrow. Uh, let's see, trash uh, obviously needs to be an A. We've got to get that trash dragged outside. Um, my blog, I'm going to put that as a C because I have other stuff that I think needs to be done uh, before the blog. Like for example, I think organizing the boxes in the garage would need to be done before I would consider doing the blog. So I'm going to put that down as a B. Um, the kids shower schedules I'm also going to put down as a C. It's not that pressing, it's just an idea, just something I want to tweak. Uh, and then budget, well that's going to have to be an A. Alright, now this isn't too daunting of a to-do list, but if it was, then I could also just put little numbers. I could number my A's and say, I want this one A1, this one A2, this one A3, etc. Uh, but I don't really need to do that because all three of my A's are fairly quick and can just be done in whatever order. Uh, if I have a bigger to-do list item here or something that uh, is daunting that I want broken down into smaller steps, then that would be placed on my second page. Uh, these planning pages are Franklin Covey pages that's from their Blooms line, and this is day on two pages, and this is a Franklin Covey compact size, and this is in a personal planner. The Franklin Covey compact size, uh, the holes line up with personal planners, but the pages are wider. Now, if you don't mind a wider, it may or may not get in your way, then you can just pop them in. Uh, I don't like them as wide as they are in most of my personal planners, so at the end of each month, I will get the next month pages out of my storage binder, and I trim them to personal size, and then I repunch them. So that's why we have some of my punched holes inside the lines here, but it doesn't get in my way and it doesn't bother me. Uh, if I didn't trim it down, then there would never be holes in the lines, just to let you know. 
So I'm going to consider the to-do list or task list section of my planning page, uh, page done for tomorrow, Monday. So now I'm going to move on to my daily tracker. And uh, these are personal things that I'm tracking, so I don't know that I'm going <laughs> to give any info on that. Uh, and it kind of varies what I track. So I'm just going to write in what I'm currently tracking. So in the tracker, track whatever you want. Um, depending on what type of Franklin Covey pages you get, some of them don't have a tracker at all. They have like a picture here, like the Her Point of View Day on Two Pages, they have a picture here instead. Uh, I like having the tracker. I'm always tracking some type of project. So these are just some personal projects and things that I am currently tracking. All right, so next I move to the appointment schedule. Now, if I have a day that, uh, where I, a day where I cannot follow my normal schedule, then I'll just write out a whole schedule for that day here and follow that. Uh, tomorrow, this is a typical Monday, I can follow my regular schedule so I don't need to write the whole thing out right here, correct? All right, so tomorrow I'm probably going to get up somewhere between 6.30 and 7 in the morning for a nice Monday start. So I'm going to write in that I'm going to start my morning routine at about 7. So I write in morning routine. In my morning routine, I move kind of slow, so I'm going to figure by the time I'm done with the, my main morning routine and I've got breakfast on the table, uh, it's going to be approximately an hour later. So I'm just going to put breakfast here. Now, if you watched my morning routine video, you saw my full morning routine actually goes all the way up until I get ready for the day after I exercise. But when I write down morning routine in my planner and then breakfast, yeah, breakfast is part of my morning routine, but I break them up here uh, so that I have my meals scheduled. All right, and then right after breakfast, even before we clean up from breakfast, is when we start uh, our morning school. Now, during my morning routine, they're already doing their morning Bible reading, and sometimes if the kids are feeling ambitious, they'll uh, grab their math and grammar and get started on that early. That's up to them. All right, so right after breakfast, we start into our morning school. And then I'm not going to write exercising and cleaning chores or anything else. That's all over here. Uh, so I'm just going to skip down to lunch. And we'll probably do lunch at around 12, 12.30. And then right after lunch is when we get into afternoon school. And then I'm not going to write down every single thing we do. I'm just going to skip down to around 4, 4.30. That's when I like to do my evening routine. Okay, and then I'm going to skip on down to supper, which can be about 6, 6.30, so there's supper. And then I'm just going to go to the last line and write down before bed routine. So before bed routine. So these are the general times I want to do or start these things. These are the time containers to go with my master to-do list and my routines, which is not a timed schedule. So these are the timed containers in which my routines will fit inside. So these work hand in hand. All right, and then uh, for my routines, I don't have them timed, I have them numbered. So I have my morning routine, I have a reminder chart of my morning homeschool, uh, and then to get more detail on my morning homeschool, I just flip to my school section and I have the homeschool schedule that we're on right here. And if I need any reminders on what we're doing on what subject, I have the curriculum chart right here, etc. Then of course I have their copy work, their reading lists, and all that fun stuff. Uh, and then I got my late morning and afternoon, five things I do then, uh, afternoon school, and then again more detail in my school section. I have my late afternoon stuff have my evening stuff and maybe before bed stuff. All right. Uh, so this is what I do every day. This is extra stuff that I fit in. And this is the time containers. Um, I do have an appointment here, a triangle, drag trash. So in order to make sure I don't miss that appointment that I made with myself, I'm going to decide what time to drag the trash. Uh, the sun is still up at 7 in the evening. Uh, and that's a good time. So let's do it then. So I'm going to write here. 7P, and I'm going to go on my appointment schedule, I'm going to circle the 7, 
and then just write in drag trash. And that still doesn't mean I'm going to remember, so now I'm going to go to my watch and set an appointment, uh, an alarm for that. So I'll set alarm. One at four seven o'clock p.m. Set. So now tomorrow when my alarm goes off at seven o'clock p.m., if I forget why it went off, which often does happen, um, because I forget what day of the week it is too. I have a watch that tells me the day of the week as well. So if my alarm goes off at seven and I don't remember why it went off, then I know I can turn into my planner and I can look here or here, and it tells me, oh, yes, that reminded me. Either I need to drag out the cat trash or I need to delegate that to one of the kids and get that out there and get that handled. Uh, and that's the only appointment that I need to put in for tomorrow, and that was just an appointment that I made with myself. And this is how I remember to look at my planner. Uh, when I, I don't want to miss time things, I will set alarms on my watch. Uh, you can also, of course, set alarms on your cell phone if you want. Uh, and as for my day-to-day -day stuff, well, my planner is open here to the day for most of the day. And you'd think I would just know <laughs> my early morning routine, but my brain wakes up much later than my body does. So I still need to go through these items every single morning and look at them in my planner to kind of jumpstart my brain and get it going. Uh, so... Um, that's how it works with me. And if you know MBTI, that's probably part of being an SE inferior. I'm an INTJ. So NI hero means SE inferior, which means the memory's not necessarily very stellar. So I got my tasks done. I got my tracking done. I got my appointment schedule done. I now move to my second page. All right. And then at the very top, I write a capital B and then I circle it. All right, and then that's for what's tomorrow's breakfast going to be. So now I'm going to flip to my home making section and into my little top tab, which brings me to my menu. And I had to actually uh, move around and change around some meals. So even though when I make my menu plan each week, that doesn't mean that I actually do those exact meals on those exact days. Uh, sometimes you know, we might find, ooh, this needs to be eaten sooner than I have scheduled, so we're going to eat that now. Or, hmm, the cantaloupes were not ripe yet. We're going to have to give them a few more days, so we're going to switch meals around. Uh, so these are just suggested. The main point is I have breakfast, lunches, and suppers planned, and they eventually do get eaten. So Monday, uh, originally it was planned scrambled eggs and kiwi, but my cantaloupes are now ripe. So Monday's breakfast is going to be... Saturday's original breakfast of cantaloupe halves. So I come back over here and I'm going to write cantaloupe halves. And uh, that's usually enough for my daughter and I. Uh, for my boys, we usually add in some peanut butter toast or something to go with that as well. But uh, my daughter and I, we're not very big eaters in the morning. And uh, for my husband, usually he likes to definitely have a protein too, so I might throw in some hard-boiled eggs to go with his, for example. All right, now I'm going to do a capital L in a circle, and that's for lunch. And I flip back over to here. And uh, I was originally going to do baked sweet potatoes, celery, and grapes, but I did not have time today to bake our sweet potatoes. Same with supper, potato soup. Lately, I've been making it with baked potatoes. I did not have time today to bake, pre-bake my sweet potatoes and my white potatoes for those meals for tomorrow. So instead, we're going to go to a lunch that we didn't have on Saturday because we ate out, and that is a snacky lunch. So we're going to bring that in. And a snacky lunch just basically means I cut up some fruits and vegetables and cube some cheese and maybe crackers if we have it, and that is our lunch. So, And I think those are kind of fun. So lunch will be what I call... Snacky lunch. Okay, now we're going to do an S in a circle for supper. I flip back over here. And remember, supper, I said it was going to be the potato soup and broccoli, but I didn't pre-bake the potatoes. And lately, I've been making it with baked potatoes. It's amazing. Uh, since I did not do that, I'm going to back up again Saturday. We also did, I also didn't end up not cooking supper on Saturday. My acorn squash is going to need to be eaten. So I'm going to move Saturday's supper down to Monday. So that's fish, acorn squash, and salad. So let's write that in. Fish, 
acorn squash and I make a nice sauce that I fill the squash hats with and salad okay and now do I have any food preps that I need to do let's take a look again so after Monday comes Tuesday fruit and yogurt smoothies I have yogurt so that's fine um, there's no prepping it needs to be for lunch and black bean burgers home fries pickles that is all good so there's nothing to prep for Tuesday. Uh, let's say, for example, let's pretend Tuesday's breakfast was going to be granola and strawberries. If that were the case, then I would write PR in a square, that's just my little symbol for prep, and I would have written the word granola, saying I needed to make granola. But uh, yeah, there's nothing to prep for Tuesday. I already have yogurt in the fridge, so I don't need to make yogurt Monday night. So I'm done with the meals portion. So the next portion I do on the second page is uh, daily chores. All right, now I'm going to do my daily chores first. So I'm going to put a little checkbox. And I already know that Mondays is when I do bedding laundry. My first checkbox is always what laundry needs to be done that day. So I'm going to write in bedding laundry. Bedding laundry. All right, and then I always do a house tidy in the mornings uh, or during my daily cleaning time. Uh, which involves, I do quick wipe downs of the bathrooms, uh, I do any picking up around the living room <clears throat> and the kitchen, and just go room to room, see what needs to be done. Any trashes that need to be changed, um, soap dispensers that need to be refilled. In the bathrooms, they need more toilet paper, how they doing on bath soaps and shampoos, etc. So, I usually put down HT, and that stands for house tidy, and that's what I call all that. All right. And then, what are my assigned Monday cleaning chores? So I flip to my homemaking tab, and there's my cleaning chores. So I got bedding, laundry, house tidy. So I also need to do dusts, mirrors and surfaces, and appliances, vacuum, and project. So, dust, and mirrors and surfaces. That's basically bathroom mirrors and bathroom counters. I'm sorry, mirrors and screens. I was going to say, I don't do mirrors and surfaces. I do sinks and surfaces together, and that's on Tuesdays. So mirrors and screens. Uh, we don't have any TV screens or computer screens that need regularly cleaned. So I'm just going to worry about dusting and mirrors. And then appliances. That's what we're going to do all. I do all the kitchen appliances, like microwave, oven, etc. And then vacuum. I vacuum almost every single day. Uh, Thursdays, I do a deep vacuum. Uh, the other days, except for Sundays, I do, usually don't vacuum. But the other days, it's just a quick vacuuming of the living room and the hallway and if there's any other places that need it. And then the kids vacuum their own bedrooms once a week. So, vacuum. All right, and then it said project. So, let me go to my projects page. And I am working down here. I'm going to do detail toilets. Um, get, we have a little bit of paint splatter on the toilets in the bathrooms. And I'm talking little specks. I don't know if anyone else even notices them. But it bugs me. So that's why I had that written in my projects list. Uh, it's it's going to be a pretty quick project. And I like quick projects on Mondays because Mondays are usually uh, more busy for me. I'm just going to have to go in there, probably with just a butter knife, and just do a little pop on each little paint spot make them fly off. So my project will be detail toilets. And then if I see, you know, if they need a major scrubbing around the bases or whatnot, then that's also what I will do that. But since uh, all three of my boys are much older, uh, toilet bases <laughs> don't get disgusting anymore like they used to. When my three boys were younger, it was a never ending chore. It was a daily chore that was rotated through the three boys. But uh, yeah, now that's like, you know, not really necessarily a thing. Now, if we have like a birthday party or we have a bunch of friends over and we have kids and boys of different ages, then it's back to the toilet base scrubbing. <laughs> so these are my daily chores I'm going to do tomorrow. The bedding laundry, house tidy, dust, clean mirrors, clean the kitchen appliances, vacuum, and detail the toilets. So now I'm going to, under that, I'm going to write down what I want my children's cleaning chores to be tomorrow. Clearly, they're not going to have as many chores as me because they are going to be working on their school tomorrow. So I'm just going to skip a few lines. I have four children, 
but my oldest is an adult, so obviously I only need to now plan chores for three children, because my oldest, he has his own house and cars and yard to take care of. So a checkbox, and I'm just going to put letter designations for each of my kids, and then I like to put a little arrow next to it. Alright, and then I'll jump back over to my homemaking section. On the other side of my daily chores is my children's cleaning chores. So, Mondays, I have my 16, almost 17 year old doing toilets. So while I'm going to be detailing the toilets, he's going to be doing, you know, your usual wipe down and scrubbing of the toilets. So he's going to do both of the toilets. And toilets get done at least two or three times a week by different people. And then my next kid, my 15 year old, is going to do the guinea pig cage. He is the guinea pig whisperer. He works magic with guinea pigs. It's amazing. And then my 13 year old is going to handle the rabbit cage. Rabbit cage. All right, so that's going to be their cleaning chores. Now, I do not have any big tasks that need to be broken down to smaller steps. If I did, then I would usually just kind of write that in this area here. And I leave this part down here blank because sometimes I need to write in some extra notes or I end up needing to uh, break down tasks uh, anyways because maybe I'll get a new task or a new project or my husband will say, hey, can you do this for me? And then I need to end up writing tasks for that or notes for that here. Or if I need to go pick something up for my husband or run some errands, I might need to write an address and a phone number here for where I'm going, etc. Uh, meanwhile, I also use this area for um, food journal. Uh, sometimes I also use it for tracking my exercise. And I don't food journal all the time, but I do food journal off and on to help keep myself cognizant of what I'm eating. And that does help because... Uh, you know, if you come up sick or you end up having digestive issues, if you've been food journaling, you can look back at what you've been eating previous to that time. And you know what? That's how some people have discovered that they have food sensitivities or food allergies. Um, and that's how uh, I suffered for years with gastritis. And through food journaling and observation, uh, I discovered uh, there were certain foods that I was sensitive to in certain amounts when mixed with other certain foods. And, uh, you know, they say that gastritis, you know, it's an eroding of the lining of the stomach is not curable. I'm living proof that it is curable. Uh, I am gastritis free. But you know what? It did take years to get to that point. Years. So anyways, this concludes my planning. Uh, you notice the writing is messy. I just used one color of a pen. Uh, I did not decorate or lay down washi tape or stickers. It's purely functional. To me, the pretty part is I have pretty planning pages. And uh, I have a pretty laminated to-do list. But uh, that's how I plan. So how will this be functioning for me? Tomorrow morning, I will wake up. I will go through this routine. I will go through the morning school. I will go through this routine. I will go through the afternoon school. I will go through this routine. And then, boom, to-dos and read. Read rarely ever happens. But if I get all these done, and I have time before moving into my evening routine, then I can read if I would like. And then I have these, and then I have more time for to-dos. If I didn't get them done, here's another time when I can do some to-dos. And then I got my before bed routine. And uh, for the chores, the uh, daily chores, so there's our morning school. The daily, daily chores happen right after morning school where uh, the kids will do their cleaning chores from breakfast and then their assigned daily chore. And then while they're doing their table chores and their assigned daily chore, I'm doing my chores. As soon as they're done with their chores, they get started with their assignments, uh, their math and their grammar and the other assignments that I'll have written on the board and that I'll have stacked on their personal uh, homeschool shelves. And then meanwhile, I'll be finishing up my chores, then I'll be exercising, and then I'll get prettied up for the day. And uh, then usually by the time all that's done, it's time to get started on making lunch. Tomorrow's lunch, I just need to chop up a whole bunch of fruits, vegetables, and cheese. So that's not going to be too bad. And as you can see, my planning's rather simple. It's very effective. It's worked for me for years. And this concludes my plan with me. Have a blessed day.